Hey guys, welcome back for another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find and fix problems with your phone's touchscreen display. Your phone's display may have become highly sensitive and it may be operating without you even touching it. This problem is also known as Ghost Touch. Or on the other hand, your phone's display may have become completely unresponsive and, and may not respond no matter how hard you touch on the screen. Before we move ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any important updates. Let's get started. To fix problems with your phone's touchscreen, first thing you need to make sure that the display is completely clean. Use a nice gadget cleaner like the one I have here along with a microfiber cloth to wipe clean your phone's display. Gadget cleaners like this make sure that the display does not get damaged. It will wipe off all the dust and grease from your phone's display and help it to operate smoothly. If you happen to have used sanitizer on your phone screen, it will also wipe all the, dis all the residue from that sanitizer. Next, if you have a screen guard, you need to check for issues with the screen guard that may be interfering with the display. There could be cracks on the screen guard or there could be air bubbles. Check for cracks even if there are thin hairline cracks like the one you see on the top left corner of my screen which is barely even visible. This could be interfering with the smooth operation of the touchscreen. You can check for air gaps by turning off the display and holding the phone at different angles to look for air bubbles. Remove any air bubbles using a squeegee or you may need to remove and reinstall the screen guard as well. In case of cracks, you may need to replace the screen guard with a new one. If you have been to a beach or a swimming pool recently or come in contact with too much moisture, there could be water either underneath the screen guard or in any cracks on the screen guard. This could interfere with the display as well. In this case, you need to wait for the moisture to dry out. You can even put your phone in a bag of rice which helps dry the moisture faster. Next, you need to check for hardware issues with the phone's display. On Samsung phones, you can go into the dialer and dial star hash zero star hash to go into some of the hardware diagnostic settings. Click on touch to check for touch issues. With your finger, you need to draw through all these blocks that you see on the screen. You don't need to do it in one attempt. You can do it in multiple attempts. If there is any area or any block that you can't draw over, that would indicate a problem with that part or that portion of the screen. If you are able to draw through all the blocks, you will be taken back to the main menu like this. That indicates that your phone's display hardware is fine. Next, let's look at some of the software settings. Exit from the diagnostic mode and go into the settings. Within the settings, you'll see display settings. Scroll down to where you see touch sensitivity. Check if the touch sensitivity option is on or off. If your display is too sensitive, you can turn it off. If your display is unresponsive, you can turn it on. You can also turn on accidental touch protection. Next, go back and scroll down to the advanced features. Check for the motions and gestures settings that could be impacting how your apps are getting launched. If your phone is operating automatically, you might want to turn off some of these sensors and gestures to check if that resolves the issue. Next, we need to look at the accessibility options. Scroll down within the settings to go to the accessibility options and go into interaction and dexterity. If your screen is unresponsive, there are several different settings here that you can turn on or off to see if that helps resolve some of your issues. You can set the ignore repeated touches option to true if there are too many um, clicks that are interfering with the operation of your phone or if you think your phone's display has become too sensitive. Last but not the least, you can always restart your phone to see if that resolves the issue. Hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what fix worked for you. Do subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.